Hi, I'm Bill Duffin, and welcome to the April edition of NFSTC's Forensic Update. Forensic science is founded on the concept that every contact leaves a trace. And with a new UV-based full-spectrum imaging system, or EFSIS, finding those traces may be easier. The hands-free camera can capture images of fingerprints or other trace evidence with the help of a shortwave UV light. This means the system, like the one here from Arrowhead Forensics, doesn't use chemicals, which helps to preserve trace evidence samples. This technology has already brought down a drug cartel in St. Paul by detecting a fingerprint on a cell phone, which was linked to a suspect in a kidnapping, as well as a methamphetamine stash house. The city's forensic services unit says EFSIS had a fast turnaround for the amount of work involved. Currently, these systems cost roughly $40,000 per unit. Biometric authentication methods such as iris or fingerprint scans are generating a lot of buzz this year. Some business reports are predicting that the biometrics market will grow at a rate of up to 14% over the next five years. And with advancements in field portable capabilities, it's not hard to see why. Take this mobile fingerprint reader. It's not much bigger than a cell phone and can check a person's fingerprint against any state and national FBI database in less than a minute. Within a month of deploying the MorphoTrack mobile identification solution, a Pinellas County Sheriff's deputy was able to identify a wanted felon who wasn't carrying traditional identification. A fingerprint scanner matched the suspect's prints against an existing profile within 45 seconds, leading to an arrest. The $1,500 scanner can also be used to help identify the lost or deceased when other means aren't available. You know, here on the Forensic Update, we've talked about cockroaches that can help find people buried in rubble. There are bees trained to identify TNT, even rats that can, well, right out a landmine. But now researchers in South Africa with the U.S. Army say they've trained elephants to help sniff out bombs. And all jokes aside, the elephants actually remember this training longer than their dog counterparts. Now, while these giant animals won't be roaming the field for landmines for obvious reasons, scientists say they use drones to bring back scent samples to a trained elephant, which then helps identify a possible danger. Researchers also are working to replicate the elephant's unique sense of smell and electronic chemical sensors. <sighs> NFSTC is proud to support the next generation of crime scene investigators. From working alongside at-risk students from local high schools for a day of real CSI training and forensic science, to our annual ROTC Biometric and Forensics Internship, we're dedicated to engaging tomorrow's forensic scientists through STEM education. We're expanding both programs this year and are asking for your donation to help create thoughtful leaders focused on the future of crime scene technology. Click on the link in this video to learn more. That's it for this episode. If you'd like to learn more about the stories featured here on the show, check out our brand new As Seen on the Forensic Update information page by clicking below. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. From all of us here at NFSTC, I'm Bill Duffin, and we'll see you next time.